exam process will be basically handled by FIFA because it's a uh, it's a license issued by by FIFA. Of course, we need the help from the member association to organize logistically uh, the exam. So, if you want a candidate, you want to apply for the license application to become a football agent licensed by FIFA, so they can apply through the agent platform. There will be hopefully uh, live at that moment and um, they select the, for example the football association to take the exam and it will be an online exam meaning that you need to take your laptop and internet to the place where FA will decide the, where the, the exam will take place it will be 60 minutes uh, 20 multiple choices um, and this could be one answer it can be multiple answers as a, a correct answer um, it will be only FIFA regulations, the scope of the exam, so it will be RSTP, the, of course the football agent regulations, Mary code, ethics code, and, um, and FIFA statutes, and the pass mark that it will be 75%, so you need to get it right 15 out of 20 questions, right, to, to, pass, basically to pass the exam. Okay, cool. And who will be exempt from sitting the exam? So all those agents that were licensed before 2015, so under previous FIFA player agent regulations, 95, 2001, 2008, if they prove they, uh, they comply with the legible requirements, they um, have proven that they were licensed before 2015, and they also prove that they've been acting as an intermediary during, from 2015 until the date of adoption, then they will be exempt to take the, the FIFA football agent exam. I honestly believe that will be, and it's the main objective, is to, uh, to protect players who have short careers, but also to protect contract stability and solidarity. Uh, and of course, this is the main objective of the regulation. How we do that? We will raise the professional and ethical status through the exam um, because uh, I think you, someone needs to understand how the transfer system works to become a football agent. And by having the license system, and you're going to improve the quality of services provided to clients, especially to players. In that case, we will have players who, with the, with, at the moment, anyone can be registered as intermediary, so no knowledge probably of the transfer system. So there's a decrease at the moment of the quality of services. So we expect with the licensing, it will increase the quality of, of services. Limitation of conflict of interest, also something that uh, it will protect the players so that the players know who can represent, but also um, the cap on agents' fees to protect some abusive practice that have been um, currently happening in, in the market, but also uh, to protect the good function of the transit system, which I believe the players will benefit definitely from, from those principles. Well, we'll have to see the final version of FIFA's regulations and we're, we're duty bound to adopt most of those. We then need a process of consultation with the, the game stakeholders to decide what, if any, additional measures we want to introduce on a domestic basis. So, well, our regulations, domestic regulations, will come in at the same time as FIFA's own regulations become effective and that so our timeline is uh, largely dependent on that FIFA's.